What's up guys, welcome back to Road to Dark Aether series. Our last top comment was from Leo, saying he wants us to quickscope with either the Pellington or the LW3 that has a thermal on it. We'll probably end up doing that for a multiplayer challenge video, but right now we're on zombies, and since he mentioned snipers, let's go ahead and finish it off with the M82. Really quick, here's my camo progress for it. Uh, as usual, everything's done except for crits. We need about like 700 more, so hopefully we can get that done this m82 is not fun in zombies it is like the slowest weapon this is one of the worst if not the worst zombies weapon in the game it's super slow doesn't have too much ammo even after pack a punching but we got the cobra red dot flash hider 20.6 rapid fire barrel ember sighting point bruiser grip nine round fast mag airborne elastic wrap and the raider pad stock now i'm not gonna put a camo on this just because i don't really get to see uh what pack a punch looks like often i always have a camo on so we're not gonna have a camo on today uh we're gonna to stick with aether shroud i would go with uh ring of fire but i'm definitely going to get cornered with this and i want to be able to get a gold uh, really quick our skills here our weapon classes we have everything really ranked up i'm still saving melee for when we do the launchers uh we can upgrade shotguns but we already have those done so there's no need really we have everything up to four that we need a lot of things up to five our perks are all up except for elemental pop and tombstone but we also don't really need those ammo mods deadwire did get nerfed so i'm not sure what the next top one is but cryo freeze is probably what we're going to be going with just keep them slowed down so maybe we can escape if we're in a tough situation we have one more level to go on aether shroud but we don't have enough crystals to upgrade it but uh i think we're chilling for right now so let's go ahead and hop in actually i'm gonna change the operator really quick let's do what haven't i done all right i guess i'll go with port nova i haven't used this skin in a while all right, here we go. Me and the twin. Oh, sh I guess I picked the wrong skin. Okay, I guess we're coming in as park. What I don't understand is if we can just drive in so easily like this, why can't we drive out? Like, why do we need a helicopter to exfil? Can you even see the truck back here? Where does it go? I have so many questions. All right, let's go Ravenoff. What up, though? Why do they ignore me? Where are you guys going? Fellas? Do I stink? There we go. They're just a little dumb. Easy crits. A loose change. Let's hit the teleporter and get out of here. I suppose I shouldn't be surprised you're here. Dr. Peck always got an attitude, bro. Let's keep the crit ratio up. So far, 13 for 13. 100% crit ratio. Okay, so with all the speculation for the new Warzone map, some stuff has like been leaked. Some actual like images of the new Warzone map. Uh, I can't show them because then Activision will, or whoever's running Warzone currently, going to strike me down. But uh, it looked like it was pictures of the dam being built and stadium being built. So the new map it's not going to be a brand new like everyone's thinking they're just going to like revise verdansk they're going to take the roof off of stadium it looks like maybe change up dam a bit maybe add in some of the, the dirty bomb maps or something to places that already don't have anything so maybe the map goes back in time maybe it's th the city rebuilding or maybe it's the building of verdansk so i'm not sure but at least we kind of know what direction they're going in here at least we're keeping some familiar faces even if they are changed a bit oh 420 points let's get let's get some weed in the comments okay let's go start this reactor 31 for 31 baby perfect crit percentage just needs 700 more no no get off me aiming with this is awful gotta love it when they're hitting the reactors though and they're not gonna turn and attack you Get those bonus points and we're out of here. Grab our loose change. We'll also grab stamina up while we're here. And we'll go get the next one going. 44 for 44. We're still solid. Let's see how long we can get this going. It'll probably end literally next kill. But also the, the new update came out for Warzone. The balance update or whatever. I don't think it really balanced anything. I think they just made the AUG recoil control a little worse. I didn't see any changes to like the FFAR. I've been hearing that there was like a silent buff to the Groza. I don't know if I really believe that. I know the Groza has been like pretty decent, but it's just been like in the shadow of the AUG and the FFAR for a while. So maybe people are just starting to move off the different guns. The inevitable meta change coming. Uh, they're just trying to figure out the new loadouts with like the Groza and like the M16. But I, I played a little bit of Warzone on stream today. Uh, we were getting absolutely clapped, but it does not seem like that AUG has been nerfed at all. I was just getting sniped by it basically a, a one-shot burst still i did not mean to hit that but at least that helped the reactor go off i hate that when they spawn a nuke right on you they know what they're doing with that okay 
Loose change. They don't even have enough to get it, so I'll buy it from the Wonder Fizz machine or whatever it's called. Okay, let's go all the way back around. We're 59 out of 59. We're still chilling. Let's take the bridge and start this other reactor, and then we're good to go. The reactor is started. I do have enough points to upgrade my gun, so I'm gonna go do that while we're waiting for zombies to spawn. Let's get to green. We don't have enough for blue. We're gonna need to buy ammo soon. But I know the second I buy ammo, there's gonna be a uh, max ammo that drops. Oh, what's up, Mimic? Don't hit me. Dude, fuck off. How about that? There we go. There's also been uh, rumors that the new COD World War II Vanguard, that that's gonna be running on the Modern Warfare engine. So a lot of people are about to be switching their tune about how excited they are for the new game. I know everyone was quick to write it off because it has World War II in the name, but now that they're saying they're gonna have the Modern Warfare engine, I'm expecting everyone to be hyped for the game. Oh, we missed a kill. We're one kill over our crits. So close. A loose change or I get killed. I understand the disappointment in getting another world war ii game after the the last one i feel like there hasn't been too many cod world war ii games in a while there was one by uh sledgehammer not just a few years ago i'm pretty sure i don't think that game was the worst uh like i can see the the if there's any integration with warzone how it would suck to just get like demolished by like somebody doing like dual lugers or something but i i've also seen rumors that they're not going to be adding any world war ii stuff to warzone like they're going to skip out on that game either way i hope it's a good game uh i hope they start to at least try to fix the meta for warzone i feel like that update was just a slap in the face like they know exactly what people want like they just they just want to not get killed by the aug and the ffar constantly another meta is just going to take its place and then within a month people will complain about that like they they don't really know a majority of the the player base doesn't really know what they want. It feels like like they, they just want to complain about something. I know the augs kind of, it is absolutely terrible. And the FFAR needs to be nerfed a bit too. But I really, I hate it when games put a gun in and then they nerf it into the ground. They turn it from the best gun in the game to like, you can't even use it. Like in, in CSGO, when they added like the R8 revolver, it was the most broken thing that game's ever seen. Like in, if you guys aren't familiar with CS, every round, depending on how many kills you get, if you win, if you plant the bomb, things like that, you get money. And after the first round, you could buy an R8 revolver. It was only $800, which is very cheap. And it would one shot. It was better than any gun in the game, any rifle, any sniper. It was absolutely insane. And then they just nerfed it to the point where it's not even worth using. When it comes to balance updates and things like that, I really don't like it when they make the gun unusable. So I'm hoping maybe this is their way of trying to test the waters. Maybe they thought the extra like recoil takedown would be enough to make it still usable but not overpowered but that thing still shreds I, I i just want more usable guns in the game that's it like if you're not gonna nerf a weapon that's fine if you bring a bunch of other weapons up because i feel like the big problem with verdansk right now is just how slow everything is hopping on a solo in verdansk does not feel satisfying at all if if you don't land like superstore or any of the like really like populated places and you get a bunch of kills right away you you land out in the boonies or something in some random area you're gonna spend 20 minutes scraping finding like 50 dollars at a time to get a loadout and you're gonna get your loadout you're gonna instantly just get washed by somebody with a aug or just somebody chilling in a corner somewhere so i really hope they do some balancing maybe like in solos i don't know they take out ghost or do something to the heartbeat sensors and nerf them a bit because everybody just has heartbeat sensor as their tactical or stuns it's it's getting kind of tiresome seeing people just do the same shit over and over again Maybe make the circles uh, start faster or come in faster. Maybe uh, increase the loot odds or something. But like the barrage, it's kind of cool, but I don't think you should be rewarded for like just killing 40 zombies. Like that's ridiculous. Like back when the zombies were in hospital, you could sit there the whole game and as long as nobody came there, you could just keep farming that chest. You just kill 40 zombies, open the chest, you get a like a super gas mask or whatever, a random weapon, some ammo. Like it, you, the zombies are... It's just free loot. And then if you want to go have a fun game, you want to go get like a high kill game, get a bunch of kills, you know, move, fly around, have fun. You're just going to get killed by somebody that sends a barrage into downtown or something. Like I like the idea of it, but the way to get it is just, I don't know, it doesn't sit right with me. I feel like a barrage should be like a really rare drop or something like, or just happen. I wouldn't say happen randomly because I know how mad I would get if I was having a good game and then all of a sudden a barrage came in, but there, there's probably a better way to do it. I'm, I'm not a game designer, so I, I don't know, but there's, there's gotta be something better. They also added 
uh before like doing the easter egg from uh like bank you could get uh the foresight contract or whatever that showed you every circle in the game and now they they put it into where you can buy it at these zombie stations so i'm hoping this is just i mean it's kind of cool it's really expensive like if you're slapping people around you'll probably have enough money like you'll definitely you'll you'll have enough money to buy it and then you know you'll be able to completely out out position people in like later game because you know exactly where it's coming but i feel like it's only going to promote like camping people are just gonna go to like farmland or something grind out money go there get foresight and then just camp and where the last circle is going to be like that doesn't help out solos at all i don't think uh, they also added the rcxd to the shop which is already i i don't like the rcxd in warzone i don't really think it does too much like it's it's kind of cool it's weird to control on pc i think that's why i don't like it they they put it right under the loadout so if you're used to like going all the way down to the bottom of the store you're gonna accidentally be buying some rcxds so i i think warzone just needs a big overhaul i don't care how long it takes for the update to come out just do it right like if they're just saving it for when the map changes like if it's if it's a map change a meta change if the game gets better and it takes them a month to come out with the update i'm fine with that but right now if you're not using like aug ffar you're just getting slapped by anyone that is I just want I just want variety back in Warzone. Also, the the cold there was also a Cold War update. Uh they buffed like the Krieg, the Milano, uh the KSP, the 1911 and they nerfed like the AK74U. I don't think they they really did too much. Actually, I think it 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 nerfed its range, but it's still really good close range. The Milano, it's it's a little better nothing too crazy the krieg i didn't really see a difference in it but i probably also had like a bad build but the ksp i think that's definitely a sleeper gun now at least in cold war because it, it's a two burst in core now before it's like everyone's saying if you're going for camos and stuff to skip the ksp do the mac 10 instead it was like the least sought after smg right there next to milano but i think now it's it's pretty good like it's it's viable now like if, if you don't want to use any meta guns you know you want to switch it up i think the ksp is pretty good now but i'm i'm still waiting for the update that takes trophy systems and makes it so they can't destroy crossbow bolts they can't destroy tomahawks and then make it so it's explosive only i think that'd be a huge quality of life update especially for people grinding the crossbow right now since it just came out like that was the hardest part about getting the crossbow done and i'm hoping the new sniper comes out soon too the only viable sniper right now like the pellington's good it's fast it you but you kind of really need a headshot with it to hit marker machine unless you're hitting your your domers but right now the lw3 is basically the only viable sniper the only i wouldn't say the only fun sniper but the sniper i have the most fun with it's like the most balanced it's got decent speed good damage output like unless you're cracked with the pellington no reason to not use the lw3 so i hope this this new sniper kind of sounds like it's going to be almost like a 50 cal but it might actually work um there's been gameplay of it floating around i haven't seen much of it i've seen a screenshot with somebody having it dark matter somehow when it's not even in the game yet so i have no idea how people are doing that but from what they put on their website like in the patch notes and everything talking about the new sniper it says it's like a shoulder up or chest up kill so it's it's going to be a high damage sniper they said the the rechamber is pretty like slow i i i just want a fun gun man i really like the crossbow but i'm disappointed in how much things counter it like it being like a very gimmicky weapon already like they they really need to do something to cold war multiplayer or it's gonna start going downhill but they did add some new maps to modern warfare out of nowhere they added like kill house some pier or something i don't know but unexpected content for uh for modern warfare came out uh those dual pistols or not dual pistols those like fully automatic pistols supposed to have like 80 round mags on them are supposedly coming out soon same with like the cx9 like that was in warzone as a drop for a little bit maybe that was them like beta testing it but i think when those weapons come out uh we might go back to modern warfare just to get them because if they come out i'm sure that'll be especially those pistols if they're anywhere near like what like diamatis were or anything in warzone they'll be absolutely cracked especially with that amount of ammo you'll see a lot more people running ghost maybe that's like what we need for warzone though like obviously it's gonna be awful to get just like slapped with like pistols constantly but if they bring in more like viable secondaries things that are better than just running double ar that might eliminate the ghost problem and then you'll see people running heartbeat sensors less and less but then that would just bring the metal of like having whatever the the modern warfare equivalent of like tac 
mask would be in Warzone. So I don't know. Any anything you you do, there'll be like an equal and opposite reaction to it. But I I really want Warzone to succeed. I want Cold War to you know do better. Like there's already a lot of content in Cold War. Zombies is amazing. They have prop hunt. They have not removed Nuketown. They keep adding new 24/7 playlists. Like they updated Miami into Miami Strike. Like the map looks good. It looks it looks phenomenal. I I love how. Miami looks the aesthetic of it the Miami strike map it might just because I've only played it a few times and I'm not used to it yet but I I didn't really like it too much I don't think it plays very well it's a lot of indoor indoor fights they, they chose a really weird part of the map to do it on but then again I don't know where else they would turn Miami into a 6v6 but I'm glad they're at least attempting it they're like okay Miami's like our most hated map like let's try to fix this like I, I appreciate the effort Grinding's definitely going to be always better on Nuketown. Gameplays are always going to be more fun. Like, I need them to remaster, like, what what's it called? Sh like, shooting range, something like that? Gun range? I can't remember the name, but it's been in, like, it's it's been in, like, almost every Black Ops game. I think it'd be a nice addition. Another good grinding map. Like, if they just start adding more maps that can compete with Nuketown, I think it'll really liven up Cold War's multiplayer. And same thing if they start adding, like, new, more fun weapons. Like, where's the ballistic knife at? I feel like everyone's been waiting for it. Or if they bring in some other modes, like, one in the chamber or sticks and stones or something. That could be fun. We're killing it with the crits right now. So far, we're not doing too bad. Uh, we've hardly been hit. I've not come close to getting down yet. I honestly thought this was going to be a little harder. But uh, I'm going to knock on wood just in case. We got 20k right now. Uh, it's round 17. We have a few stuns. I think we can probably pack a punch. No, we're already pack a punch too. So let's go get some perks. Uh, we can definitely upgrade our gun now. We have a lot of materials, parts, whatever the hell it's called. Salvage equipment. And then we can also get our ammo mod while we're here. And then let's get the hell out. But also, you guys did it. Uh, I was talking about how cool it would be to try to get to round 100 uh, with Samuel the 17th. Uh, you guys hit it up. You hit up his comments. And I'm pretty sure he's down. Uh, he said in his video that he's down uh, once he gets back from his vacation, his, his trip or whatever. Uh, so that should be fun. Uh, I'm really happy about that. I think that'll be uh, that'll definitely be a fun video. I have... I still haven't gotten, you know, past round 40, I don't think. Maybe, I think 45 is my highest. Uh, if there's a way to check, like if there's a stat line, you can check what your highest round is. I'd love to know. Maybe I'll look for it after this game. But I don't think it's too high in this game. The highest round I've ever been to is like not legit. I'm pretty sure it was when like there's the glitch on five where you can get on the table. I am very, I'm a very inexperienced zombies player. So I'm curious to see the strats that, you know, Sam Samuel goes through or tries to like carry me through to get to 100. And it's probably way, it's, it's definitely way easier to do solo because you don't have anyone to worry about going down or anything. So the duo strat is going to be really interesting. Like I'm, I'm trying to think of what like field upgrades that we could both have to like help out. Like one of us will probably have ring of fire. The other one like healing aura or something, or maybe we'll both have ring of fire. I don't know. It's going to be crazy. It's definitely going to be a long recording too. So when that collab happens, it might take a little bit to come out because that, that recording is going to be like three hours long. Like these normal zombies ones, like I'm only on round 18. Like I, I've taken a little bit of time with the rounds, but like this, my recording right now, is 34 minutes and we're only at round 18 but also i've been looking at like channels that you know you guys watch as well as like mine like channels like i've been looking at channels that say, share the same viewers there's a little like uh area in the youtube studio that shows you that and there's this dude lego unlocked who is like insane at, at cod he he goes through and he's unlocked like every challenge in the game he's got dark matter and dark aether i'm pretty sure he's done like every dark ops challenge he does every challenge like in the game so if you guys also want to see a collab with him go go hit up his comments like let's 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 keep doing this let's keep let's get the collab train going because i i think it'll be fun to branch out and start working with other like call of duty creators like i feel like I'm trying to do a little bit of everything here, like a, li a little multiplayer, a little z zombies, uh, and then I stream Warzone. I want to get Warzone videos out, but I am just so awful at Warzone, and just the meta is not fun right now to play as, or to play on. But you guys should go hit up, uh, oh shit, let me out of here. Oh, I didn't even see the nuke. That sucks. There goes all those crits. But yeah, you guys should go. But if you want to see me uh, play with uh, Lego Unlocked, go, go hit up his comments. But we're chilling right now. Still got a good crit to elimination ratio. We kind of fell off of doing like 100%, but 
We're getting there. Oh, shit. We have an assault wave. Can I upgrade this again? I'm sure I can. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Give me that. I'll take level two as well. All right, let's get out there. We've still got our cruise missile from our last assault wave, so we can throw that down, throw our napalm down. We're chilling. Try to get some crits from up here. We'll drop down. Where are they coming from? Excuse me? How are those not critting? I had my barrel up to his head and it wasn't even touching him. The MA2 is so bad. We're holding it down though. We don't even need this napalm. I'm gonna grab it just in case though. Mangler's frozen in time. Goodbye. See you, Robocop. Here comes the, the Demogorgons. The Demoflobbins. Okay, let's stun these guys. Move on over here. Stuns last for quite a bit. Stuns and decoys? Kind of pog. We really don't even need the cruise missile. Kind of a waste. Well, we got a little bit of time here. Let's try to run back. We can pack a punch three this. We don't have enough parts to go too crazy on our weapon. Huh? What was that? I thought I had something open for a second. I just have never played park before. That volt sound scared me. There we go. I wish the pack-a-punch thing, like the pack-a-punch camo like this, would somehow interact with whatever camo you have. Like if it was layered under it or something or made that camo kind of reactive. I think that'd be cool. It's probably a lot to code. There is a lot of camos in this game, but it sucks when you have like dark matter or something on it and then you can't see any of the actual like pack-a-punch like shit on it. I think I'm, I'm gonna start just not having a camo on it. Maybe blueprints. I don't know if it'll still put it on for blueprints i know you can change your blueprint while in game now so that's pretty cool uh, i'm just complaining to complain at this point we're big chilling we're only about 100 away also i have no idea what uh frenzy's frenzied guard does from my you know peanut brain understanding of it is that you only take damage to your armor when you turn it on like does that after your armor's gone will you start taking hits and like does it attract zombies to you as well like what's what's the use of frenzied guard like i don't i don't know what these a lot of these field upgrades do i know healing aura is sick or it's sick for like groups like if somebody goes down you can just revive them if need be just by hitting your field upgrade i know ring of fire is sick it adds extra like fire damage to anyone that walks in the fire you get like um your ammo takes from your pool not from your mag uh aether shroud is literally just like a, a get out of jail free card the energy bomb or whatever i feel like is the worst field upgrade like it seems cool in theory and i'm pretty sure that's like the first one i ever used when i played zombies but it is not good so let me know what like the best like field upgrades and like ammo mods and everything are because with deadwire being nerfed what is the go-to is deadwire still the go-to for trying to get like high rounds or is it is it like weak sauce now like should we be using was it like napalm burst or whatever the explosive one is now okay i'm gonna save my parts for weapon tier three we're, we got to be really close to gold here, though. I think we can get it by the time we hit next exfil. But uh, last zombies video, I was talking about how I've been working full time and I've talked to like people, you know, the higher ups at my work. I can switch my schedule to being part time now. And it actually it went through. I'm going part time starting next week. So I should be able to get more content out for you guys. Oh, shit. I'm not going down like that. Everyone get out. But I'm excited. I should be able to, like, I'll have more time to record, edit, stream, get videos up, and just have more free time for myself. So I'm going to try to get a schedule set for myself. I'm hoping to add another day to stream during the week. I'm going to try to get a set, like, upload schedule. I'll try to get videos done ahead of time and have, like, videos ready to go. But I'm excited. I'm glad that I can actually go part-time at work currently because... Like of you, of you guys watching my videos and supporting me and everything. Like I, I honestly, I, I can't, I can't thank you enough. Like it, it's, it's so surreal to me. I've been working on, I've been making videos and trying to create content since I was like, like 10 years old. Didn't start this video, this channel till I was 14. All right, let me out of here. So it only took me, like it, it, it's been what, eight years coming now? Yeah, I think eight years that I've had this channel and you know, just last year it started to started to take off, and now I'm going part time at work because of it. So I, 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 I really, honestly, truly, can't thank you guys enough. Oh, and we got diamond right there at the end. Let's go. 
We got the snipers completely done. What people are saying is the worst class for zombies. And we're through with it. Absolutely finished. We even have to get it fully leveled up to legendary. So for this last round, I'm going to go hit the box. Whatever weapon we get, that's what we're going to be using to finish this off. We'll go pack a punch it and everything too. How do I get over there? I just forget I have to go through the beach. Let's see. Okay, DMR. That's what we're finishing on. Let's loop around. Go pack a punch this bad boy. And then we can exfil after next round, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's pack a punch this. Tier one, tier two. Don't have enough for three. Let's do a fun one. I haven't even tried Shatter Blast yet, so let's do that. Oh, let's end this round. Holy. Blew his fucking dome off. Let's get out of here. No blocking the door for you guys. I did not buy a chopper gunner. And we don't have our Aether Shroud currently. We should be getting in a second though. But if we get cornered, we're screwed. No, this thing's too nasty. I don't even have to aim. I just have to take a step back every once in a while. This thing slays. There's always one straggler. There he is. All right, let's go. Easy. X filling at 26 too. It was meant to be. So I've only played 65 games of zombies. I got two days, seven hours into it. I don't think it says what your best round is. Or your highest round. That's so weird. The Pellington's like my fourth best gun. Same with the, the M82 and the Tundra are right behind it. What's my worst one? Wait, where is... Yeah, I have 1,400 kills with the Sigma. I played one game with it. I got one kill with the AUG. All right, let's see what this thing looks like in gold. Gold Viper, gross. Plague Diamond, all right. It's starting to grow on me a little bit. But Dark Aether is really what we want. We have two classes done. We got two Plague Diamonds done. We got our, our snipers out of the way. It should be smooth sailing from here on out. Because we can do the crossbow instead of the M79, but we'll probably end up just doing everything. We have a lot of melee weapons to do. But what we do next is up to you guys, so... Make sure you leave a comment saying what weapon you want me to use next. Uh, the top comment will be the weapon we use in the next video. Uh, if you like the video and you want to see more, hit the like button. Uh, if you didn't, you don't. Dislike. Uh, if you're new here, uh, please consider subscribing. We're on the road to 100k. Uh, merch and my Secret Labs affiliate link in the description below. And that's it for me today. I'll see you guys next time. Later.